Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the red ash. Now this is an interesting pattern including red and brown with some gold tinsel, and uh, it has some interesting characteristics to it. I think it will fish very well. So uh, let's go on with the fly and take a look at the materials. Our hook is a size 8 uh, heavy wet fly hook. We're using 8 aught black thread. We're going to use small gold uh, tinsel, uh, red floss for the body. Our throat is going to be blue done and brown mallard for the uh, wing. So let's get tying. Since this is a uh, floss body, we have to be neat. Bring that up to the hook point. Okay, now for our tag and rib. We fold it back and trap it. Now we tie in our floss. I just leave that on top and what we can do is we can use the tag to help fill up the space. If we wanted to we could have left the tinsel tag in there as well. Just keep it on top. Now for our floss, as usual, pull the twist out, flatten it out, watch out for that hook point. And now for our rib, we've got a little bit of a bump there, so if you bring it just in front of the bump, it'll tend to cover it up. Now for the throat. And finally for the wing. Roughly the length of the hook. And finally for some head cement. There you go, the red ash. Uh, like I've done in the past, I've in this fly I've used a low set wing and a large head uh, to create extra movement. Your choice, you could also tie this with a small head and a more of a, a wing that sort of sits up a little bit. Those are stylistic changes, and you can do what you like with them. Anyway, uh, the Red Ash, give it a try. I think it's an attractive fly and should work rather well. Cheers.